Hello team, welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between Tomok in blue and Desobnern in red. This is a game from the T2 2023 tournament that's happening right now in Line War. This is a lower bracket game between these two players. Desobnern won the first game. It's a best of three series. This is game two. And the winner of this will play the winner of the last match that we casted on the channel, which was between Animorph and AK Misk. And so in the top right, Tomok in blue, as mentioned, in red is the Sovereign, more in the center of the map. We'll see if that comes into play here. In general, spawning closer to the center gives you a better opportunity to expand and box your opponent in. But I love this from Tomok, double airport after building the first town. And the Sovereign is going double dock after building the first town. So we've got Navy versus airplanes here. And first gas for Tomok is on the way with a barracks. The barracks makes a lot of sense for blue because it is still predominantly like a land map. Getting blue infantry down to the center is going to be important as it will be just as important for blue to actually go across the top and then be able to get to the left hand side of the map and at some point expand to the right hand side. Because of the two airports, there's a chance that blue could commando drop over to this rightmost side of the map. And that, that would be before Desobrin is able to take these boats and kind of block this off. It's two cruisers immediately from red, so it's not like they have huge anti-air capability. But clearly red has a head start on taking control of this body of water, which could be important because there are actually three refineries on the top right. And unbeknownst to, to Desobrin, this, uh, this town... This town for Tomok right up by the coast. These two cruisers are going to be able to destroy that pretty quick. Once they get up there. Two farms on the way for Tomok. Who is going for strikers. This is a... The, the two airport striker build was... At one point, I think about a year ago. A very popular build. Probably the strongest build in the game. And so I personally love seeing this. I think strikers are sweet. A great unit. And like, strategically for this situation, this isn't too bad for Tomok as an opener. If we go to Tomok's vision, the blue lines are how far the strikers can go. So they're not quite within range of this, this town. But they will be in range of these two factories. And it will also force the Sovereign to start making some missile boats once Red notices what blue is doing. So at 55 out of 30 energy, this is the max that you can have off of one refinery without a depot connected to it. And, and relatively soon, once these planes start flying and if blue can keep the, you know, the same number of planes and keep growing the plane count, the second refinery, refinery will have to be taken as well. In general, you go for like one refinery per dock or per airport the general rule of thumb for how much energy energy you should be producing. So it's two missile boats immediately after these two cruisers. I think that's probably a very good composition for red to go for. And the sovereign also has a second city or a second town, pardon me, already completed. There is a trade route in the bottom right. There's actually two if the sovereign can get to this little island. And that would be an enormous amount of economy especially as the game goes deeper. And I think in general, this is going to be the open question whether blue can get out of the north. If red controls the center of the map, I think it'd be very difficult for blue to actually keep up economically. There's also a trade route here that the Sovereign kind of gets first dibs on between these two towns. And Tomox sees this, this refinery in the fog of war because of the anti-stealth properties of a refinery or strikers will be able to destroy this and at this point red will likely know that this is a two airport opener there's no real way that you can get four strikers this quickly in the game and so double sand production from the sovereign and most likely red's going to keep building some missile boats and that's what we're seeing so next flight out the, there will be six strikers a nice thing with sending this many strikers out is it gets a kind of a full scout 
of the sovereign set up and Tomox sees that there are more Sam so a little bit of a timer against blue right now because within a few minutes there's going to be enough missile boats in this this body of water and then there's also going to be a full dot of Sam's for red and it'll make it a, it a little bit more difficult for blue to get value out of the the strikers eco wise 511 for blue and 520 for red the beep beep low energy warning warning part of me for uh the sovereign who rebuilds the the refinery this time in the water i assume red's anticipating that this refinery is either out of range of the strikers or red will just have a better time defending with missile boats this is the strength of kind of this opener or one of the strengths that you know is a part of this build is the ability to just click on buildings and destroy them in one pass blue turns on the burners which will get the planes here a little bit quicker but then very smart tomox slows the planes down as they're about to actually launch their rockets if you have the strikers on haste move while they're targeting a building they will actually only launch one missile at the building as they pass over it instead of two because they're going too quick and we see that tomox got the first missile boat and building a second one right now red hasn't opened up for an airport but it could be possible and tomox still doesn't see these two docks if Tomox saw the two docks i just i feel that maybe these would be cruisers being built out of the the shipyard instead of missile boats but with a a refinery that was seen pretty early from Tomok it's pr the the calculation probably was that it's not going to be tanks so planes are a pretty likely bet and here come what is this it's going to be six strikers a seventh one will trail pretty quick once it's done shining on the airport and luckily for Tomok, all of the missile boats moved out of the way. So this refinery will be destroyed. Tomok's going to... Sorry, the Sovereign's immediately going to build a refinery again. Probably on land this time. Potentially. Well, probably not, actually. I don't know. It's interesting to think about whether Red would want to build here or on land. I think both have merit. It's probably easier to defend this one with Sam's end missile boats. And so, so far, this is a pretty, like, it's a pretty decent amount of damage that the blue strikers have been able to do. Eco-wise, 700 for blue and 632 for red. Third missile boat being created. For Tomok, who will very likely not build a port on this town anytime soon until blue's sure that this red navy isn't going to be able to just destroy it immediately. So there's that second refinery for Tomok. Now that Blue nearly has two full airports, we're going to have to see a, an airstrip at some point if Blue wants to continue producing strikers. The airport can only hold five. And this this command for Tomok will be cancelled. I, th I think once this first plane sees how many SAMs there are here, all the planes are going to go home because these are also in uh, entrenched lines. So the Sams have a little bit more range and also more defense. It's it's maybe it's there's a lot of blue strikers that are going down now. In fact, it's probably going to be all of them. Is it going to be all of them? It's going to be all of them. If blue got out with some amount of planes, I actually don't think this is uh, the worst call ever to continue to handicap Red's Navy. And it's still not the worst call ever, you know what I mean? But it's that was certainly very expensive for blue. But there's two factories near the center. So blue's left with two strikers, a handful of infantry that are capping to the far left, which is good. And then Tomok will start building a, like a bulk of an army here. This territory is now, I mean, perfect timing. So this territory is now complete. And the Sovereign's going to start working on that first trade route once the town 
is built, then the, the port will probably come down pretty quickly so that this the merchant ships, which of course are the coolest unit in line war, can start being constructed and then making red a bunch of money. Eco-wise right now it's 786 for blue and 692 for red, so a little bit of a lead for Tomok. It's still two docks worth of production versus one for blue. So at some point in a naval showdown, Tomok's gonna have to reinforce the, you know, the Navy with some, some air assets. And even then it'll probably be a tough fight to take if Red has that much more. So the Sovereign sees these three factories and a, and a barracks as well being constructed, also gets a scout of half the pipeline and the two refineries. But energy-wise, blue certainly has a little bit of a better setup. The Sovereign's still only on one refinery. And because it's, you know, these two red docks have been producing boats the entire time, Red all of a sudden has a navy that's pretty large, and anytime it's going to start moving, it's going to run out of energy. And when those black plumes of smoke go, the units take some amount of more damage over 5 seconds. It, it might even be 50% more damage or something. It can be significant. But you just see raw numbers. Red just has more. But first cruiser for Tomok, that can be a big deal. Cruiser being like the strongest boat to be making. Thankfully for Tomok, these cruisers have been spotted. I assume the next place that the strikers are going to go are up here. And I mean, this is what the commands are. Blue wants to make sure that the two cruisers don't get around back because I believe they could destroy this refinery. Might even be able to hit this. Probably not. This is a little bit too far. But then the town is fully exposed. And Subpen love this from Tomok. The stealth properties of the Subpen, this will probably not be spotted by Red unless DeSovereign were to move the Navy all the way over here. Which wouldn't super make sense at the moment. But this still is very good for Red in the bottom right. Also a, a very safe second refinery. And top down, this is the distribution of territories at the moment. This could be very painful. This could this could almost end the game because it's, it might destroy all of the planes again. And then once the cruiser and the missile boat fall, this navy can destroy this airport. On this side of the water, they can also definitely destroy this refinery, the barracks. And unfortunately for Blue, the way the planes have to land, even if Red's Navy just stayed here the entire time, Blue couldn't ever use these planes again, because on the way home they're going to fly over all this. This second cruiser for Blue will not be completed by the time these Red boats destroy it. And understandably, this kind of forces Tomok's hand, and Blue's going to start pushing. And now, uh, in this situation, as long as Red doesn't lose this, Red should win the game. DeSovereign is, is going to build a, ref a uh, airport in the mountains. I would almost expect helicopters out of that, but we'll see what, what the actual plan is. And now, yeah, this is unfortunately... This went from a decent position to now a very unfortunate one for Blue. 877 income for Red, 821 for Blue after losing that town. And the last striker is destroyed. And uh, that's it. GG. It, j it shows how fragile a, a navy game can be when there's a lot of critical infrastructure right on the shore. Here's some graphs. Alright, so that means that the Sovereign will move on. To play, as I said, I, I won't spoil it. The the winner of the last video on the channel, the last cast between Anamorph and AK Misk, 
congrats to Talmog for advancing this far. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep casting uh, some of the tournament games as they come in. I think there's five players left at this point. Uh, but check out the line where Discord if you want to learn more, learn about the game, ask questions, hang out, chat, talk strategy, whatever you want. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is. See you around. Peace.